Well, communities around the country are dealing with EMT and paramedic shortages. All of this coming since the pandemic, and now one county in our area may have figured out a way to deal with the shortage. Our Lisa Crane has a story that you'll only see here on WVTM 13. When you need emergency medical help, that's the sound you want to hear. Now folks on the east side of Winston County may not have to wait as long to get that help. The fire departments in Arley, Addison, Central and Helican have created a nonprofit ambulance service, Winston County Rescue Squad. It'll serve as a supplement to the for-profit private company that also works the county. The squad's nonprofit status gives them some advantages. We're not in this for the money whatsoever. Uh, we, being a nonprofit, we can't show profit at the end of the year. So it either has to go back into our equipment to make our employees' lives better, or it goes into bonuses and things like that. It also means they can qualify for grants to help supplement salaries and equipment. But more importantly to the volunteer firefighters, it can save lives. I personally did CPR on somebody for 55 minutes waiting for an ambulance. Um, and the, you know, my fire department specifically, I have a paramedic or a couple of paramedics on my fire department. We're ALS certified, but it was frustrating to us that we couldn't transport. It's estimated the new squad can cut response times by about a third. This is the first Winston County Rescue Squad ambulance, but Wakefield hopes to eventually have an entire fleet. It's a creative solution to a national problem that could serve as a model to other rural communities. In Arlie, Lisa Cray and WVTM 13.